Hello, welcome back to Jeanette Peter TV. If this is your first time, you're just coming across my video for the first time, do remember to like and subscribe to my channel. This channel is not just for entertainment, like I always say, it's also for enterprise. Um, I have not yet posted a video on how to do the things I post about, but when the time is right, I'm going to do that. So I majorly teach people on how to correct their product when it goes bad. So today we are going to talk about liquid soap. That's because uh, it actually happened. Oh, what happened is that I usually measure the water down before starting the product, but unfortunately I measure 20 liters of water as I usually use it. But I actually use water from another container without discounting from it when I started doing it. So I use another water from another container to dissolve the chemicals before the day of the product. So on the day of the product, I forgot to discount from the one I kept for it, for the production itself. So that's why I ended up have, having a runny soap instead of it thicker liquid soap as i always do so that's why I'm, I'm making this video so i was able to manage to make the soap i mean to try to correct it and also video it as i was doing it so i wouldn't have to just deliberately make a product go back to correct it so i'm just using this opportunity to show other people on how to correct their products so um many things may occur may lead to the product being watery it's maybe from the measurements sometimes your battery can disappoint or your scale may just decide to misbehave or sometimes maybe from the product itself if you don't buy if you end up buying the fake one they are fake chemicals i mean this one i'm talking about the liquid soap i'm talking about is a local one we we make in nigeria here not the other i wouldn't want to mention it but not the other one but the one we do with local chemicals which involve up to which involve the combination of lots of chemicals so i'm going to start with dissolving sls also known as rice when it is fully dissolved i mean you can just measure like 10 grams when it's fully dissolved you add sodium triphosphate oh, i just suddenly remember that i should video it so this is going to be you can actually add more water but because of the condition of the soap i wouldn't want to add more water so i'll be showing you every step of the way You can also add nitro soul after this. And please remember to properly dissolve the nitro soul so it will not form lumps in the soul. So when the result is ready, I'll I'll come back to it. Sorry, I just need to concentrate and drop the phone. I didn't really plan videoing it. I just want to use the opportunity. I want to reduce the water concentration oh, or beautiful. addition of water to the soap this that is, is already running. It's, it's, then after that, really I will add really sulfonic acid so that it will increase the cleansing power of the soap and also serve as a, a foam booster. Yes. Um, you can not, also add foam booster. Runny. There is a chemical called like foam booster. Before. You can also add it. And you can so. also increase maybe add one cover bottle of fragrance to balance the quality of your soap so that's just it i'm so, using stick because i don't have industrial blender yes yeah, so also I to make it check. easier i use hand mixer to mix individual chemicals while dissolving it before adding them together and use wood to mix it up so in a nutshell you dissolve the nitro soul then in another container you dissolve sls then add salt or sodium triphosphate together before adding sulfuric and foam booster now why you're adding all this is because since the soap is watery 
the quantity of the sobers increased.